right here and uh, welcome back to PD. Tutuloyin lang natin yung uh, pinag-usapan natin last time about bits and numbers. Pag pinag-usapan natin bit sa isang computer science IT setting, hindi natin maiwasan na pag-usapan rin yung bytes. So ano ba yung bytes? Ang isang byte is equivalent to 8 bits. Ano ba yung importance nitong 8 bits na to? Well, you might notice when you have 8 bits pag ginamit mo in binary, you could use the number 0 to 255. That is 256 numbers ang pwede sa'yo. And with 256 possible numbers, possible combinations, you could map, marang, yung mga numbers sa yun, pwede mong i-match sa isang certain value. So, for instance, value ng 0 is something, value ng 1 is something. And you would notice na if you would map yung combinations na yun, to basic letters, US English na letters, di yung mga weird na letters sa ibang languages. Basic letters, numbers, plus yung mga basic punctuation marks. You would notice na 256 is more than enough para dun sa pag-represent nun ng mga bagay yan. Kasi less than 256 siya. And nung nag-umpisa yung mga computers, yun, nalata nila na Yung 8 bits, again, is more than enough to represent yung mga characters, which is yun, characters, yun yung uh, general term to represent yung letters, numbers, and punctuation marks. So, yun yeah, 256 is more than enough to represent yung characters, and it has the advantage na it's in base 2. Ang um, maraming mga possible na ways para represent yung, represent yung characters natin in uh, yung ating bit na format. But yung pinakasikat at hanggang ngayon ginagamit pa rin is yung ASCII, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So, ito yun. Uh, meron tayong table kung ano yung nagmamatch yung bits natin at sa uh, yung corresponding decimal niya at yung corresponding na character or glyph niya. So, Nakikita nyo rito na yung 65 that maps to capital letter A, yung 97 that maps to small letter A, and sabihin natin yung mga ibang uh, uh, mga characters tulad ng exclamation point that represents, uh, that that is represented by the decimal 33 in space 32. So yun, makikita nyo rin dito yung ASCII natin, it's only just 127. Base 7 siya. Pero yun nga, parang nalta nila, mas mabuti, parang mas madaling gamitin na consistent yung ating system. Ginawa na lang nilang 8 bits. Kaya nga, meron kayong maririnig-rinig na mga extended ASCII na pinahaba nila yung from 127 may na-include pa silang mga extra na mga characters para mabuo yung 256 possibilities. Kasi ito, 127, 128 possibilities lang ito eh. Yan, gamitin muna natin bago tayo tumuloy. So, using itong basic na ASCII na to, paano tayo magre-represent ng isang simpleng word? Mare, hello. Pag ginamit natin itong Nya, itong ASCII na to, ASCII na table na to, ito yung itsura niya. Yung H will represent this, E, L, L, and O. Kita nyo na 5 characters siya. And again, ang gamit natin na para i-represent yung character is yung per byte siya. Kaya sabihin natin hindi nagamit natin yung uh, pang ace na bit niya. Pero nya, we're using yung bytes kasi yun yung... Uh, Parang uh, unit natin. So, 5 characters times 8, that's 40 bits. So, to represent hello, we need 40 bits. So, yun na yung bytes, yun na yung characters, at bakit ginagamit natin bytes. Kasi nga, yun nga yung pinaka, sabihin natin, importante. Kasi kung bits, kasi hindi siya, nakita naman natin sa numbers, hindi siya ganun ka useful eh. It's only when we combine the bits with something else, dun na lang siya nagkakaroon ng kwenta. 
So, bago tayo tumuloy, kasi we still have a lot of time, sabihin na, na natin na yung bytes, hindi lang yan, yun nga, nakita na natin yung bytes, hindi lang yan ginagamit ng ating mga broadband operator pang lin lang ng mga customer na isipin lang na malaki yung data plan nila. Ano mare, ilang Mbps, pag kinonvert mo siya sa bytes, which is kung paano measure yung size ng mga files na na-download natin, may kita nyo, kailan mo pa i-divide siya by 8. At Ano nga, nakaka-disappoint rin. Eh, it's marketing. So, aside from that thing, another thing about bytes is yung mga computers natin, they have yung tinatawag natin word. Hindi yung word na silta, basta word, para lang when we refer to uh, sinasabi natin, mga computers. For instance, yung mga, yung mga computers, yung 32-bit computer, 64-bit computer, or yung, kunwari, yung Nintendo 8-bit computer. Ano ba yung mga bit na yun? So, yung, yun, yung mga 8-bit, 16-bit, 32-bit, yun yung word size. Yun yung kayang unit ng uh, information na kayang i-process ng computer at a single moment. So, in that case, yung 8-bit, kunwari, kaya niyang i-add, kaya niyang i-retrieve, kaya niyang i-process, or whatever. Yun yung kaya niyang gamitin. Kaya nga, may kita nyo rin, another reason bakit meron tayong bytes is, yung 8-bit processors, yun yung 8-bits mismo, which is 1 byte, yun yung kaya niyang i-process sa mga computer na yun. In the same way, 32-bit computers, which is, sabihin natin, medyo... Still widespread, pinaka widespread para nagamit ng computers in this day and age. 32 bits ang kaya niyang iprocess at a time. So, that's 4 bytes at a time kaya niyang iprocess. But, in the same way, sabihin natin, hindi lang nang ibig sabihin, limitado sila dun sa bytes na yun. Meron din, syempre, complicated yung mga computers natin. Later na, discuss yun. Hindi lang sila limited sa 32 bytes. Kunwari, 32 bit computers, they're not limited to 32 bits. Pwede rin, kaya rin nila mag-process ng 8 bits at a time. Pwede rin sila mag-process ng 64 bits at a time. Pero, point here lang, bakit kung minimension yun is, another reason bakit importante yung byte is not only is it used to define yung simple pieces of information, that is, yung characters para sa tao, it also refers yung pinaka-simpleng pieces of information na kayang i-process ng mga computers. Kaya, yan. Hindi tayo tumitingin sa bits mismo. For most of the time, ang importante sa atin yung bytes. So, that's something to keep in mind. Yung word lengths, yung kaya nga para makikita nyo. Later na yun, pakita another reason why kailangan nyo malaman yung 32-bit, 64-bit, and all that stuff na parang pang-marketing lang kung ano talaga yung ibig sabihin nila. Pero, again, later na yan. Next lesson, uh, didiscuss natin yung other basic data types and mostly yung mga data types rin na yun has something to do with bytes and has something to do with yung mga word lengths. Yung 32-bit to 64-bit ng mga computer.